Hello everybody, welcome to Credit Quest. Uh, this is going to be a new series on the channel. You may have already seen this before, but uh, I'm going to redo this one because uh, it was bad. So there we go. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't getting any audio and I was confused. Anyway, this is Street Fighter 1, which is a Mugen thing. Uh, Mugen edit. Uh, as you can see, we got two Joes. Because why not? Uh, anyway, I've been wanting to do a series like this. This is going to be the first video I film after the whole giant restructure. But, uh, here we go. We're going to go into battle mode, which is basically arcade mode. Uh, so we've got Ryu, uh, Ryu and Ken, obviously. And then we've got, uh, the, these boys, which are the enemies of the game. And then we got the, uh, boss boys. So there you go. Uh, we're going to start off nice and simple with Ryu, because he's the first character, he's the only character you play in the original first. So, there you go. And I'm going to play his alpha skin, which we're fighting Ken right now. So, yeah. There's a ghost player on the other side. There you go. Anyway. There you go. Oh, shit. Wait, I forgot. This game's four button. Shit. How did I forget this game's four button? Yeah, this is a four button fighter. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, this game is much better than the original Street Fighter, so try to find it. It's Street Fighter 1 by the Valkyrie Project. I might throw a link in the description in there for this video. Just that you can go play it yourself, because it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, you can taunt to get meter. And, you know, the original game didn't have that. In fact, the original game didn't have working special moves. So there you go. Oh! All right. There you go. I I'm starting to. Okay, uh, also, this game's rounds are gonna be set to 2 out of 3 because I have no friggin' clue how to get, gosh dang, uh, one round for this game. I know how to change rounds on other new games, but not this one. So, no. you're just gonna have to do the two out of three. Which either that'll be really fast or it'll be really slow. There you go. Hadouken! There you go. This game is also on normal difficulty. So there you go. I had to kick it up a notch because whatever. You must defeat my Shoryuken to stand a chance. Yeah, they fixed the translation error. Oops. Alright, so next up is Mike, which we're still around. Mount Rush. I don't want to be in Mount Rushmore anymore! Yeah, also Al Alpha Ryu is the only skin you should play ever, just saying. Because apart from the shoes, it looks like Ryu. <laughs> it actually kind of looks like Ryu. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, well there's one of his supers, which is the uh, Shinku Tatsu. And then he also has the uh, Shinku Hadu. I'm gonna finish off my. There we go. All right. There you go. Sword you can. Sword you can. So I plan to do two Credit Quest series at a time, and then uh. Probably one game Reaper plays at a time. That way I'm not killing myself. Also, I'm just gonna do uploads of uh, whenever. Whenever it happens, it happens. So whatever, so if inconsistencies happen, sorry. So there you go. Uh, I'm trying to make content good, not, uh, not, I'm trying to make Content good for me, not good for YouTube. So there you go. I'm putting the business dream behind, and I'm putting the me dream as a priority. No! Why would you do that, Mike? Why wouldn't you punish me? Why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> the air punched his face. A fight, a truce, a step on the path to becoming a true warrior. Yeah, Ryu is a whole bunch of just fighting mumbo jumbo. That, that's all he says. Anyway, here's Gen, the oldest man alive. Seriously, how is he not dead? <laughs> just die already. Just fucking die already. He uses that uh, Chinese magic. Actually,
action, though. He's just, he's, he's kept alive the power of Uble. That's how he's alive. God damn it, again. I died. Now you now you're done with this. What the fuck? What are these sound effects, dude? Like, what the fuck? Oh, you can... Oh, you can... I'm just gonna mash dragon just so I can make people upset with me. I think some people might find it weird that you don't have a uh, crouching uppercut. They go, Eagle! Eagle! Yeah, that alternate is ugly. Although Alpha Eagle does exist, yeah, pretty much any characters that were in Street Fighter Alpha, uh, they get their Alpha colors as an option. Except for Ken. Okay. Yeah, they also still have the cruddy voice samples from the first game. Shit. Oh! Eagle get bodied. All right. Son of a fucking bitch hole. What does that mean? I have no friggin' idea. Eagle, more like. Uh, booty. That's the bird he, he should be. Eagle should be a booty. <laughs> It's because I want Eagle to sound stupid. You must have been my Shoryu again to stand a chance. There you go. Oh, hi, Geki. Who's a red Geki? Alright. Uh. Mwah, wah, wah! I'm joking! Oh my god! Stop that! Wow, Geki is. Fuck you. Geki's being a bit of an asshole right now. Oh wait, oh, yeah. This is the one Street Fighter game where Ryu canonically had a footwear. In every other game, he's been shoeless. Mostly because Ryu is just a karate hobo. That's basically what he is. There's no sugar coating in. It's fine, Ryu. We're gonna get you a quality job. We're gonna get you get you some nice health care. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, Ryu. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get you to safety. For now, just sit in the homeless shelter. We, we, we got you. <laughs> and then you take him to the homeless shelter and he just beats everybody into fucking submission. It's like, Ryu, what are you doing? There's elderly people in here that are suffering. And he's like, I must continue my training. Thanks for the punching bags. <laughs> what kind of fucking lore am I making right now? This is the unofficial Street Fighter Reaper edition. Where I make everyone seem like an asshole. Hey look, it's Retsu, also known as Mr. Poofy Eyebrow Man. Which I'm gonna play in the next episode. There you go. Well, there's a bit of a teaser for you. And by teaser, I mean I literally just told you who I'm gonna play at next. I'm gonna play as Retsu just because I don't wanna play as Ken. Because I don't wanna be redundant as fuck. I mean, Retsu is a Shoto in his own right, but he's not exactly like me. So, I'm gonna let Oh my god, Retsu, what the fuck? Get my ass whooped right now. Not really. You got in a few cool hits. And then you should blocking everything. Okay. It appears computers don't like fireballs that much. Oh, don't get... <laughs> computers don't 
don't like special moves, it appears. And not not just su not, not even supers, just special moves. There we go. Look at that nice speed combo. What? <laughs> oh my god! Jesus. What? There we go. Amazing work. All right. Are you one match over enemy? What strength? I don't forget there are many guys like you all over the world. This game can get kind of weird sometimes. Anyway, we got Ryu versus Ryu, which never happens. Except for right now. Anyway, technically this is evil. Yeah, I guess I can consider this the evil Ryu skin, because it's an evil Ryu's color scheme. Not the skin tone, but I mean it's a color scheme for his outfit, so yeah, I guess it's evil Ryu. Which means we must beat him into a blinding submission. But there you go, you can see his goddamn red red fucking slippers he's wearing. Alright, Shinku Tatsu can give you eight hits. Nice. That does damage. If Supers were in Street Fighter 2, that probably would have been, like, an instant kill. And I mean, like, vanilla SF2, not S team. Don't get it twisted. Also, there are some fighting games which I completely can't do for the sake of the channel because like, they don't work very well. Like, Fatal Fury 1 is one of them, and, like, Art of Fighting 1, those, those two, where, where it's like, they have a cast, but they're extremely limited, so, like, unless there's a Mugen like this, then I can't really play them. That's the only reason I'm playing this game is because it's a Mugen and you're allowed to play as everybody. Like Lee, can't play as him in the original. But you can in this. Alright, I think we're coming down to the last couple characters here. We only got uh, Lee, Birdie, and Joe left. Oh my god, Lee. Playing like an ass right now. I'm playing like complete ass. No, no, no. Fuck you, Lee. It's not confirmed or not whether Lee is dead, but people like to say so because, you know, we've never seen him again. Yeah, you know that joke in the uh, ABGN review of uh, Street Fighter 2010? This is Street Fighter the Good Edition. Just saying that for the for the record. All right, there's Birdie. So next is gonna be Joe, and then they... Blue Birdie, eh? Still, I'd rather prefer if he wanted the second dying. Yeah, in Street Fighter Alpha, they changed uh, Birdie's skin complexion to be black instead of white. And they were like, yeah, Birdie's just sick in this game. Then why is he fighting? If he's sick, why is he fighting? Like, usually sick people don't go out looking for street brawls. But except for Birdie, Birdie don't give a fuck, apparently. Yeah, definitely chip damage. Eat chips. 
Eat my nice delicious chip damage, you son of a bitch. God, hurry! I'm not very much of a birdie player, so when I get to the birdie episode, I'm just probably gonna have like an hour long montage of player thing. That's what some of you want, you sadistic fucks. That was me using three supers in a row. Also, that's a lesson on why not to use three supers in a row. I'm kind of fucked in the brain today, because I went to a party, so, you know, I had a nice big party tonight, and it, it was, it was as wacky as you would expect it to be. Alright, Joe. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God! Funky. Is it funky? Time, time literally just doesn't block the fighter. It just doesn't. There you go. All right. There you go. Oh shit! <laughs> we just had a, a good old Mexican standoff right there. It was a western. You can, you can cut back to that and just start playing like the good, the bad, and the ugly or something. You know. Actually, you know what? No, don't don't do it because I don't want to get copyright stricken. There you go. Yay! An excuse that I don't have to edit. I'm gonna edit these videos. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna throw as much wacky stuff in it as I possibly can. Like I'll re I'll rewatch every single video and just find stuff to to edit. Just because I'm a fucking idiot. Just because I'm an asshole. Alright, a fight. A step on the path to becoming a true warrior. There you go. What? Who's this guy? He wasn't in Street Fighter. He was not in Street Fighter, but... Uh, final fight was called Street Fighter 89 initially. So, that's why they put Cody in this game. So there you go. I mean, he does use his final fight once per game, so... That's Break your guard, Cody! My fucking guy! Mr. Fucking God damn. It. Oh which by the way, um the Cody legacy can still happen. It's just I would need to figure out a way to do it. Which, I mean this game this series would basically make that irrelevant. I'm not gonna do a Cody legacy. I'm gonna just wait for Max to do it. I'm pretty sure he cares more about Cody. Actually, you know what we might care about him as much as we do equally, which is not very much. I mean, Cody's not the worst character ever, he just... just kind of... Wow. They just bodied him for an attack. Can you stop jumping into Shinku Tatsu? Motherfucker. Yeah, they even lifted all the sound effects from Final Fight. So there you go. Adon. So yeah, uh, Cody, Adon, and Sagat are all the same. Are all in the same place, but... Get, uh, fighting, um... All the other characters is completely random. You will not get the same ladder twice. Well, I mean, maybe you will get the same ladder twice, but... I mean, maybe it's out of a pool. I don't know. The fucking creators of this Mugen didn't want me to figure out how it works. Even though most Mugens, they clearly show you how they work, because most of them are just stitched together. And that's the beauty of Mugen, honestly. It's just the very raw nature of everything, because it's like, you know a fan created it. No one else could have. Mugen is just for people to mess around and try to make a fighting game. 
You know, it's literally for people to make stupid shit, which is why you have characters like Omega Tom Hanks or Tiger Woods. You know, it's like, yeah, you can have that shit. There's, there's characters so powerful they can shut down a street corner. I don't know. No, seriously, there are characters in Mugen that are so powerful that they actually affect the real world. It's insane. It's all the lure of power. It off dead. He's dead. He's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sagat. The game is so much easier when you disable AI cheating. Like, why is that even an option? Why don't they allow you to check that? It's like, yeah, you can just have the AI cheat. It's all good. There you go. Also for Red 3.0, this is the theme for Sagat stage, as opposed to the movie music, because I don't want people getting copyrighted. See, I is smart boy. See, because Capcom gives no shits about this game. In fact, you know what Capcom Yeah, but no, a movie? That's... What do the animators do? Probably been pitching it. I don't know. I'm still kind of salty that they took away Max's boss rage in this game, which is fucking hilarious. You know, which well, it was hilarious until they took it down. And like 10 other boss rages. Time's up. No, I want to sure you can him! I'm not gonna state why I don't care. Although it should be pretty self-evident that I don't care that much. <laughs> yeah, also Sagat is the the most broken character in this whole game because it's fucking You'll see when I play as Sagat, which he'll be the uh, penultimate episode. So there you go. Bang, 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 bang. There you go, dead. All right. Show me again! <laughs> yeah, you actually get him the scar. Arg. Yeah. After defeating Sagat and becoming the world, the new World Warrior Tournament champion, Ryu began to feel empty with his victory. His fighting spirit didn't feel satisfied at all, so Ryu decided he would go roaming the world searching the strongest fighters to face them. And they kept in the original ending. An interesting destiny awaits him. Bye, everyone! I'm going on the U.S. airplane! <laughs> but there you go, that is Street Fighter 1. And I think I'm going to let the credits completely roll at the end of a series. So, there you go. Anyway, uh... That is the Ryu episode, so I'll see you all next time for Retsu. I'll see you all next time.